In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to plant out a black currant. And I love growing black currants because they're so simple and the harvests are great. They give us harvests for about 15 to 20 years. And the best time to do this is between mid-October through to early March. The first step is to choose a place to grow it. So try and choose somewhere sheltered and get at least four hours of sun every single day. And if you want to make sure that there's enough space because black currants can grow quite large, stick your arms out. And if you don't knock into anything doing this, you've got enough space to grow them. I always enjoy digging a hole and you kind of want to dig a hole roughly twice the size or twice as wide as the pot just so it has plenty of root space to begin with and it's great because I know that this was just grass but to me I'm going to be growing something a little bit more exciting. Once you can see that the hole's a decent size, then use the plant in the pot and make sure for black currants that it's fairly deep for two reasons. And the first is we're going to be putting a load of compost in here to welcome the black currant into its new home. But also with black currants, you want to grow them kind of like a crown. So if you think of my hand being the surface of the ground, you want all of the shoots coming from underneath, unlike a tree where you have more of a stem, like a goblet shape. So this is looking like a good depth and I'm gonna get some compost. You now want to add a generous helping of compost to the hole, because remember compost is like food for us humans, but food for the plants. So, Start off with putting a few handfuls in and then take the plant out of the pot. And the best way to do this is to put your hands over like this, turn it around, tap the pot, give it a bit of a squeeze and then out it comes like that. Turn it around, place it down and see where it's going. So I want the soil just to cover over this stem here so it'll look like that. So I'm going to make a bit of a gap at the base just to make sure this will work with the level and I'm happy with it there. And now using the soil from the original hole, fill the gaps around the side of the black current just so it can be secured back in place and something great about transplanting when things are dormant like this is that usually the ground is very wet so you don't need to water it however if your ground is dry make sure you do give it a good soaking The plant is now in the ground, but there's one issue, and that is that we're not really protecting around the stem. And because it's still kind of young, very easily all the grass will creep back in and grow and, and, and suffocate it, especially when it all starts growing again in spring. So what you can do is use bits of cardboard like this as a weed suppressor and place it around the plant. like that and you'll need to do this maybe about once a year if you're really trying to keep on top of things make sure that there's a bit of a overhang on on all the sides like that and then finish it off with some wood chips or bark or anything like that around the base 
to not only hold it in place, but I think makes it look much nicer. You can also use things like a load of compost or manure as well. But if you're using something like that, a really important tip is to make sure that the stems or the base is just clear. So it has a little bit of breathing space. And then you might just need to pull out any grass which grows through that. Now I bet you're just expecting me to tell you that that's it, you can leave it, but no, you've got to give it a bit of a prune. And I know this seems crazy, but it's worth it. And let me tell you why. Firstly, cut all the shoots just above a bud down to around five centimeters, two inches from the base. And I know it's not going to leave you with much of a plant, but next year it's going to promote really vigorous growth and send up loads and loads of new stems. And in around two years time, you're going to have a really nice and mature black currant. And one day your black currant bushes will look like this. These are heading on 15 years old and are still extremely productive. So hopefully you've seen how easy it is to grow them and has inspired you to give it a go. And everything that you need to grow your own black currants can be sourced from your local Dobbies or online at dobbies.com.